Hi, Tamal. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you, Ishan. Now, in your column this week, you discussed the new entity called National Bank for Financing Infrastructure and Development. The first question that came to my mind was, after the failures of development finance institutions, do we need another such body? Aren't banks and capital markets capable enough to deal with infra financing? Well, I think the government uh, can answer your question in the right, best way. Uh, do we need? <laughs> uh, it's there. You think that, you know, that 2021 budget announced it and then the government got into action. It's already got its initial capital, uh, also some grant. Uh, do we need it uh, while the banks are there? No, banks are not a vehicle for infrastructure financing globally because, um, you know, it's the uh, it's, uh, traditional hackneyed stuff is this, is the asset liability mismatches because your deposits are uh, of uh, maturity is far less than uh, your financing in infrastructure would, would run into even 30 years, 10, 15, 20, 30 years. So certainly banks are not the right vehicle. Uh, so globally, it happens that corporate bond market is very deep, very liquid. Unfortunately, despite the best effort of the government and uh, Reserve Bank of India, uh, Indian corporate bond market has not got much. If you, you see some of the developed markets, uh, the volume of trade in, in, in corporate bond market is higher than the equity markets. But that's not the case in India. This is yet another attempt, and I think all of us should uh, wish it success uh, for the face financing, because that's the key for the growth. If you are talking about a five trillion economy, if you want to reach there, we are already the fifth largest economy in the world, and we need to move ahead. Infrastructure is the key to our growth. How yeah. would this NAPFID be different from the development finance institutions that have come in the past and from the existing institutions? This NAFED entity is very different from that. A, even though it's a government baby and the budget announced it, you, you, you look at the papers, uh, the origin of this, of this organization, the government notice. Is there. It's an independent entity driven by the board. You know, even the appointment committee, the appointments, uh, uh, the organization which, uh, which uh, clears all the appointments in policy directives, they would clear it, but the government will not sign it off. It's the board that will sign it off. And they're looking for market related, uh, they're looking for right kind of talent, offering them market related salary. So they are very, very different. You know, on the, uh, and the government has opened up its parts, uh, government will support it. And, and because of the government backing, uh, raising money from the market for it will not be very different. So, and the basic difference between other entities which have experienced so far and NAPFED is this. NAPFED has been positioned as a total solution uh, for infrastructure. What does it mean? It will give money in terms of debt, uh, where it will complement the banks. Along with the banks, it, can always, it can't always uh, take over the entire loan burden. Second is it will also give money in, in, through the bonds uh, like NCDs, etc. So, for instance, if it's a 30 year project or 25 year project, it will give 15 year money in, in, as a sort of uh, uh, loan along with the banks. And when the bank stops at 15 years, the rest of it it can give in terms of long term bonds, NCDs, etc. And also it can pick up equity. So, equity, bond, loan, all three of things. And it's also uh, been invested with the power of developing the market, which means apart from a financing uh, institution, it will also look into the aspects of how to develop the corporate bond market. So it's a very vast assignment. And I'm told that it's in touch with multilateral agencies, it's, uh, it's, it's charting its way. And as I've written, the first disbursement of 10,000 crore into a power uh, project should happen before the Christmas. As I am to understand, an independent board does not guarantee less scrutiny by the three C's, the CAG, CBC, and the CBI. Would that still be a problem with NAPFED? Yeah, I think I think you are absolutely uh, on the ball. Ideally, it should have been the outside the purview of the three C's, but it's not. And if I'm not mistaken, when it was announced, I think the government did say that it will be out of the purview. 
But if you look at the papers, uh, you know, the notification, it is not, uh, this is the unfortunate reality of it. It will be under the gear of GCs. But I guess that's a minor irritant if it gets his act right. Because it's not, you know, it's not into getting into the recovery and cleaning up. There, all those issues can you know, are very critical that are you compromised, are you doing things, etc. When you are giving money, it's more the focus you should be the right kind of project appraisal and the risk management and underwriting. Where the earlier DFIs did not come out with glory. So this entity NAPFIB would need to focus on that. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Tamar, for your time this week. We hope to see you next week again. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. I am the blue of the limitless sky. I am the inspiration that led success so high. I will achieve. Nation's trusted bank, SBI, the banker to every Indian.